Hello everyone, we are in one of our most used hangouts, uh, a Walmart parking lot. It's kind of gray and dreary and winter is definitely coming. It got pretty cold last night. So our truck is fairly insulated. We have our little heater, but I want to make a little curtain for the pass-through because the cab is not really insulated and cold still gets in pretty well underneath. I went thin. Uh, so we're going to make a quick no-build uh, curtain rod to help keep some of the warmth in and also for a bit of privacy there is a door um, blocking my main entrance but underneath the pass-through and my little storage area I'd like to have another one just for privacy and I said warmth so let's go find some stuff and uh, yeah make this happen and of course whenever you're in a Walmart parking lot you will see other campers so it's just kind of nice to be around people who are like you so you don't feel quite so alone All right, so this is what we want. We want this black pipe. All right, this is what we want. Um, our gap is about 36 inches. They're coming preset lengths, but that's all we need. There's different thicknesses, but this doesn't have to hold a million pounds. It just needs to hold up a curtain rod. So we're gonna grab this bad boy. So everything is color coded, depending on the size you want. We're gonna grab two of these half inch. Uh, make sure to grab the ones with the open end. So one end can go on this, and the other is going to screw in to this guy. Okay, it is not raining, but we have what we need. I'm going to walk back. Walk to Home Depot, they said. It would be easier, they said. Okay, we are soaked to the bone, but we have our stuff. We're back at our truck. <sighs> All right, we've taken off our sodden clothes. Uh, let's get this bad boy going. We don't have a dryer, but this will help. All right, so here we go. Uh, we got the 36 inch one. You can get multiple lengths of it. But for us, our uh, breezeway has a little gap. I think it's 30 inches, 32 inches ballpark. We're gonna put in these little studs. It doesn't need to hold a ton of weight, as I said, but we just have a bit of overlap anyways. So they've got these little um, threaded ends and all you do is just put the one end on. I might have to stop filming because I don't think I can film and do this at the same time. Okay, yeah. They just come on super easy. You screw them, <laughs> boom, and then you get your little ends. I would put these on first because you really don't know which, because these screw on, you don't know the orientation they're going to end up, but you can kind of make it work. However, boom, magic, and we're just going to do the same thing to the other side. And we're just going to do the same thing to the other side. Yeah. There we go. All right, so this part is super easy as well. Um, because they are screw on, you just want to make sure they're relatively the same. This doesn't need to be crazy strong. It just needs to be on there pretty well. And then we're just going to place it and draw some marks for our screw holes. It doesn't have to be free. It just needs to work. We're just going to do two. And this is really the only type part you'll need a tool for. You can do it without a worst of choice of falling by yourself. And this really is the only part you'll need a tool for. I just tacked it up, but as long as the screw is bigger than the hole, it'll fit. This is not holding our weight, though likely because it's... If we did all four, we could use this as a little whoosh, Ghostbuster style if we need to make a really stylish exit, but this is up for all intents and purposes as much as we need it um, This is a curtain. I got off Amazon. You can get any type you want any size I just punched in the measurements and this is roughly what I got uh, You don't have to mess with sewing or anything like that and off-camera. We're just gonna install these bad boys All right, so there we go. Uh, this will keep, hopefully, most of the draft out. It's also, even though I have the door to the cab, this is just a bit of extra privacy. I like to leave that door open during the day, both for access and just, 
why not? Uh, but just this will help a little bit if I need to get changed or go on the computer. <laughs> um, but I hope this was useful to you. Thanks again for joining me. I hope this was helpful. You can modify this to your setup any way you want. Um, those black bars are super useful. They are holding up my clothes. I could probably hang a ridiculous amount of clothes up there because it is steel pipe. Um, it's pretty solid. So um, use whatever you can, think creatively. I'm not the first person to do this. I won't be the last, but I'm sharing with my knowledge and what works for me. So uh, stay safe. If you're in Canada or you're living here in the winter, stay warm uh, and I'll see you next time.